Hi, my name is Helen, Helen with the gold teeth. Welcome to my episode of These Pieces. Today I'm going to show you some of my jewelry and some of my favorite t-shirts from my bootleg t-shirt collection. So I've been in the jewelry business since 2019. I primarily make grills, but I started collecting jewelry too after I got into this business. Some of my favorite pieces are my original Jesus piece. This is the mini Jesus piece with the diamond crown. And then this is the big guy, the original. It's like 64 grams, I wanna say. This idea came from a client who commissioned it. He actually didn't end up buying a Jesus piece, but I went through and made it anyway, so it belongs to me. I also really love Cuban necklaces. I used to wear really light, cute chains, but then being around the Diamond District all the time kind of gave me a taste for heavier gold. So I started out with this Miami Cuban links. They're like tighter together. There's less space between the links and they're really heavy. I went from that to the necklace version of it. And then I got the big chain, which is like 260 something grams, I wanna say. I even have the iced out Cuban white gold and another tiny white gold. I also have some of my favorite pieces that I'm waiting for customers to come pick up. This one is a white gold bridge with black diamonds. On the canines, you have open face with the diamonds all around. This is a different style of bridge with pink sapphire. Instead of doing like the enclosed tooth with like a slug or open face, we just put these like little hooks to keep it kind of like dainty and fun and player, it's for this girl in Detroit who I really adore. She's a school teacher and a mother, and um, they're just really flashy out there. So I just wanted to make her something nice. And then these two are for a couple. They're engaged to be married, and they got like a matching his and her set with different stones that are sort of significant to them. But what I love about it is that even though they went with really different stones, they still kind of complement each other. So next, I'll show you some of my shirts. I love t-shirts. I love bootleg stuff, anything bootleg, but especially t-shirts. And I also have a little bit of a merch addiction. This one is a DJ screw. I got it in Houston at the screw store, which his family is still running to this day. Technically, it might not be a bootleg t-shirt because I bought it from them, but it's kind of bootleg. So I included it with the collection. This one is a memorial t-shirt that I made of my mother. In my culture, when somebody dies, people go ham with like memorial stuff. And one day I just felt like making a shirt to honor her and I just like it. This one is special to me because I went to a Tom Petty concert literally right before he died. I went to my first and only Tom Petty show and one of my best friends from college was a roadie and he like took us on the tour buses and everything. And on the way out, I bought like five different bootleg shirts. This is the only one I kept. So this shirt is of Eddie Plain. He immigrated from Suriname and he sort of planned on being a soccer player, but because of an injury, he instead became a dental tech. In the 80s and 90s, he pioneered this thing that we call grills now. And he's just this really tremendous historical figure that I have a lot of admiration for. I just met him for the first time in passing and he had some of his grills in his hand and they were truly the nicest that I've ever seen in my life. So then this t-shirt is bittersweet. Last summer, Telfar from Telfar, the brand, he threw a block party to honor the life of Letitia Chong, a woman who became very famous as a hairdresser in fashion, but she was really just like this really incredible human being who did so many just huge things with her short life. Tragically, she passed away last year from cancer, but we had this gorgeous Bach party in Bed-Stuy. Aya Brown did this illustration and they gave out the t-shirts that day. This shirt is one that I made because I didn't know that they were gonna make shirts. <laughs> so this is my bootleg Letitia Chong shirt. Like, I just stand down for her for life. Like, if I could say I was one of her disciples, and it not sound too weird, I would just straight up say that. She taught me a lot about life and I really miss her. 
So I went to this show and it was really good. And on the way out, I bought this bootleg shirt. It has Keisha Cole and Boys to Men on the front. But then on the back, it has like the rest of the stuff that was going on that night. Brian McKnight was not at that show, but he's on the shirt. Big Daddy Kane, also not there. Tank was not there, he's on the shirt. Elder Barge was there. Drew Hill was not there, but they're on the shirt. This is the beauty of a bootleg shirt. They just don't make sense. This one, I would have to say, is my most prized bootleg shirt that I still have. Right when Gucci Mane got out of jail in 2017, and it was like the brand new, fresh, new Gucci with the new body and like the new lease on life, he had a tour. So when I pulled up to the concert in Philly and I got out of my cab, there was a man selling bootleg shirts. And he told me they were $10. I asked for my size, no lie. He reached down into his pants, he pulled it out, and this is my shirt. <laughs> So it's a bootleg shirt that somebody turned into a bootleg Gucci Mane shirt by um, spray painting some stuff on the front. And the final is my Dig shirt. Erica Diggs, she's currently a jeweler. I aspire to be more like her every day. She's highly trained, highly skilled, just so knowledgeable. And she also takes the time to teach and pass on knowledge. So I made a shirt of her, and when I made it, the theme was to have that like Cash Money album cover look because she's from New Orleans herself, and to put a lot of diamonds on it. It's like, I'm known for gold, because I wear a lot of gold, but she goes crazy with the diamonds. Like, I don't know anybody else in my personal life who wears that many diamonds. And then on the back, it says Gumbo Grills, and Gumbo Grills, is like her moniker for her grills thing. I included what she calls the avalanche on the back. It's the only true invisible set pair of diamond grills in the world ever. They're so gorgeous and the diamonds are set Van Cleef style. And then this one is a render of some CAD jewelry that she did. So a lot of the things that I do as a jeweler, I do them because she showed me what the standard should be, and she helped kind of usher me into the future. So those are my pieces. Thanks for coming through. You gotta get out of here. I gotta go back to work now. Bye.